Matrix is dead? Not for sure, in my opinion. For sure, we, we had a big improvement about sectional matrices because uh, we can have an easy uh, positioning, we can have a, a very natural uh, emergence profile, so it's quite simple to obtain a very, very perfect and natural uh, contact area in a posterior tooth, for example, when we do a direct restoration. For sure, the sectional matrices are having an amazing improvement and we have uh, so many uh, news uh, every day so this is absolutely the gold standard nowadays uh, in a term of uh, contact area uh, restoration. Anyway, nowadays uh, with automatic we still have some indications. For example, we have uh, the missing adhesion tooth. So, the neighbor tooth is missing because uh, we are putting an implant and we are waiting uh, for the final restoration. But, in the same time, we have uh, to build up a direct restoration in that tooth. And so, uh, not having the contact area with the, with the addition tooth, uh, we are not able to position the wedge and we are not able to put uh, the sectional matrix. In this case, we can perform a freehand restoration or we can put uh, an outer matrix that can uh, be stable. In this case, maybe we don't have this uh, very natural emergence profile, but we can maybe do modeling uh, some uh, precurvature on the on the automatics after we seal the cervical uh, uh, the cervical margin. Another condition could be, for example, when we have a very very extended cavity in the buccal lingual side. So. In this case, if we put the additional ring, we can risk to have a distortion of the restoration and we will risk that we have a deformation of the sectional matrix in this area, very extended buccal or lingual in the lingual side. Another situation could be when we are not interested to have a contact area reproduced because maybe we just want to relocate the margin in order to have a, a better access for an indirect restoration. So in this case, to use a sectional matrix, we can create a very, very tight and a stable contact in the cervical area. We can build up just for a half millimeter, one millimeter, the, the cervical margin, then we can remove it without to take care about the contact area. So summarizing, sectional matrix for sure is the gold standard that we can have nowadays in direct restoration. But on the other hand, so we can have three main indications for the outer matrix. The missing uh, addition tooth, and so we can reproduce anyway the sealing of the cervical and uh, intercontact area. The very standard buccolingual uh, cavity or when we are not uh, taking care about uh, uh, contact area because we are just relocating the, the cervical area for the build-up. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.